Okay, we're switching gears here and a warning about a potential increase in global warming. Permafrost is thawing. The findings are in a new report from the United Nations presented at this week's climate pact negotiations. Scientists say permafrost areas in Alaska and Siberia are starting to thaw. The constantly frozen ground contains large amounts of carbon. A melt would release methane and carbon dioxide into the air. Do you know what those are? The greenhouse gases. This increasing threat, the report says, could lead to a jump in global warming by the year 2100. So let's bring in Dave Malkoff, who is live in Atlanta this morning with more on the story. This is really scary, Dave. It, it, it is because methane works much better as a greenhouse gas even than carbon dioxide. Now we're about to take you aboard a NASA ice plane high above the Alaska tundra where the methane bursts are getting so intense they literally stall out the engines. It may be dangerous, but taking the Earth's temperature up there on this mission is absolutely vital. Way up north, winter is coming on fast. Already you can see that the surface of the north slope is completely frozen and snow covered. Underneath all that snow is an ancient forest that died out up to one million years ago. And so it's just stayed and accumulated over time and built up layer upon layer upon layer. Those zombie trees are waking up and breathing here on modern Earth. My name is Chip Miller. I work at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. That's why NASA sent Charles. I go by Chip. Dr. Chip to the tundra. Chip and his crew fly in this 1980s vintage C-23 Sherpa. They showed the crew from an upcoming Weather Channel documentary called Tipping Point how the sophisticated equipment on board sniffs out the brisk Alaska air looking for problems. Okay, here are the PFPs. Our objective to the is to look at carbon dioxide and methane. In some cases, they bottle the air and bring it back to the lab. The Arctic is undergoing the big melt. I'm Bill Passard and I'm a climatologist. All those scientists are watching as those ancient dead trees unfreeze and release their trapped greenhouse gases that can lead to global climate change. There's actually a small greenhouse gas effect that occurs naturally. See, if there was no greenhouse effect at all, the sunlight coming from eight light minutes away wouldn't be so warm. In fact, we'd all live on an ice ball planet with an average Earth temperature of around five degrees Fahrenheit. But that sunlight does get trapped by that natural greenhouse effect, and it keeps us earthlings nice and toasty. And these are ancient deposits of carbon, which just piles on what we're adding. CHIP's Alaska mission is called CARVE, the carbon... Carbon in Arctic Reservoirs Vulnerability Experiment. Yeah, what he said. Basically, what they want to know is easier to understand if we use a hospital analogy. And we know the Arctic is sick. It has a fever. That's the warming. But is there another localized infection that doctors have to worry about? So this is a lot like the canary in the coal mine. Is the carbon from the trees making patient Earth feel worse than she already does? But right now, that's the question that we are asking ourselves. But think about it, that's just one piece of the puzzle. Tomorrow, we're gonna look at carbon affecting the entire planet. The winter weather update is coming up next on Wake Up Without. As soon